Hello, uh, as you can see here, um, I have a pretty interesting looking display. And now for some of you who may not know, uh, this is called an RGB monitor. The uh, R stands for red, G stands for green, B stands for blue. Um, it is not a television. Um, it doesn't have a TV tuner in it. It basically allows you to see 100% pure analog video. So um, basically what we've been playing video games on this entire time, like in the 90s and 2000s on those old CRT TVs, did not do it justice. They didn't do the actual uh, pixels justice, you could say. Um, so yeah, so here I got a uh, Sega Genesis 1. Um, we got some stereo speakers, only mono in there, so why not? There's a Sega Master System back there, it uses the same adapter. RGB cable for this, you just get cables. You don't need to mod your systems. And same with the Sega Saturn and Super Nintendo apparently, I haven't gotten that yet, um, as far as the cable's concerned. Now, um, let's, do some, let's do some comparisons here. So, I have the same game Sonic 2 on a regular TV over there in the same room, but we've got, we got RGB here. Okay, so we're gonna compare the two. All right, so this is basically a regular TV and a Sega Genesis 2 is plugged in with regular yellow composite video. We'll check out the difference. You can see me, hey. <laughs> now this is the Sonic Classics collection, so it's not straight Sonic 2, but let's go Sonic 2 now. All right, here we go, Sonic 2. <laughs> This looks so much worse. Can't you tell? Oh my god, look how blurry Sonic is. And look at all that green around the thing that says one player. Like, oh my god. Look at that. Oh, that's what you're playing the entire time? Are you serious? How can I look at this for so long? No wonder I have to wear contact lenses. Like, what is this? Wow. Oh my god. But, you know, I mean, it's not, like, really bad, but once you get into, like, some things that have, like, a lot of... They're really small, I guess, then you're really gonna have problems seeing things. Um, but yeah, I mean, here's a little bit of um, Sonic, you know, as we would normally see it. And you can directly compare that to RGB. All right, here we go. Sega. Now, as you can see, it's kind of hard to film this. But here we go. So this is RGB. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And trust me, it's not, nothing is scaling, it's just, you know, when you film a screen. When you film a CRT screen. So look at how perfect those pixels are. I know this is the weird, like, two-player demo, but, yeah. <laughs> At least now you can see things that are smaller in a lot more detail, so. Oh, I don't like what they did with this because they stretched the pixels in this one. So let's make sure we fast forward to a different example. Alright, so as you can see, it, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to film this, but this is Sonic 2 and RGB. So, mmm, delicious. Look how shiny everything is. Whoa, here we go, Chemical Plant Zone 1. Now watch for, like, things that are, like, changing colors, if you can. Like, anything that has lights flashing. You'll see there's, like, an orange versus, like, a, like, a yellow. Like, those sort of, like, you know, differences that, you know, you'll notice. So there's, like, blinking lights inside those. Oh my god. So, you know... It's little differences like that that make playing the game so much better, so much better on your eyes, like, 
You're not like squinting to see what's going on. Alright, let's check out another level. Ooh, the aquatic ruin zone. Look at that water. And look, oh my god. Look at the blinking lights. The blinking eyes and the trim the oh my you know what I mean? Like anything. Now Sonic obviously is washed out in water. But you know, like even then you can tell like that they just took the color down because it's under the water. First, this is not just your TV's color. Awesome. Alright, so that's a, a little bit of um Sonic 2 and RGB.